Today we use a Dollar Tree bag to make this love sign. Keep watching. Handy dandy glue sticks. Gonna use some ribbon. There's two coordinating ones. I'll show you which one I use in a bit. They came from Dollar Tree. And these are some of the tower blocks from the toy section of Dollar Tree. This is a wedding bag. It came from just the wall that has all sorts of bags on it. It is matte on one side and the other side has a metallic gold. Sorry about this not being in focus. And then I'm just using the sign. Sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree. I got mine from the thrift store. It's been used before for other projects. As you can see the, the marring there. It is 12 inches by 16 inches. So you can use anything you like for this. You can also use a piece of foam board and just cut it down to the right measurement. So I'm just showing you here, four inches and 12 inches is 16. All right, so we can use these ribbon hang uh, hanger handles again for another project so just take those out they have a little plastic thing on them and you can just feed that right back through those holes cut out around the edges of the picture i've already measured so i know how much i'm going to need just be careful with this i'm doing it in fast motion so you don't get bored with it but i was being quite careful about cutting this then you want to fold up cut off and remove the bulkiness from this top edge. You're gonna be gluing this down so you don't want all this extra bulk on the top. You want it to be as flush as possible. So just make that look neat, pull those pieces off and then trim it up. Or you can sand it like I do. So I'm getting an idea here of where the picture will be by just folding and creasing a little bit. See, I can you can see the crease lines on there. And then I'm gonna apply the glue onto this chalkboard sign. Get good coverage, get all the way around it. You don't want there to be any lumps. You want it to be fairly even and be sure you get your corners and your edges nicely. If any little blobs come out, you can just rub that in with your hand because it will wash off very neatly. Okay, so we're going to put that sign down on the bag, right back where those creases were. And I'm going to take this hanger off because this is from another project that was hanging in the other direction and we won't need these anymore. You can always paint or cover the back if you don't want it to show, but I wasn't bothered by it. It will be against the wall. No one will see it. Okay, so I'm going to I'm just going to use my wooden ruler here and start pressing the creases out. Now, the texture of the bag is not the same texture as like a calendar page. It's thicker and it almost has like a, I don't know, it's hard to explain. The texture of the bag is just different and it's a little bit thicker. So, um, it's stronger, so that's a good thing. Whenever you get a lump or a bubble, just pull your edges up. If you use a glue stick, that's the beauty of it. You have time to work with it. Just going to press it down from the middle, press outward, and just um, make sure that you're getting that as smooth as possible or smooth as you can stand it. Some people don't mind the bubbles and that's fine too. Whatever you wanna do. I can fill it with my hands. I can see some of them. And in the end, it's not perfect. And I'm okay with that. But the ruler helps a lot giving you a nice straight edge part of the problem is the surface that you're gluing something down to if it's not completely flat or bowed in any way it's going to give you some little bubbles and some a little bit of a problem but just keep working with it if you've got the patience just put a little weight into it just press those out now i'm going to take my block here my sanding block i had to get a new block because it the thickness of the paper didn't want to cut through as nicely as i would like um, not a problem i had some nearby so you're just going to file this away and downward and it's going to make you have a nice smooth finished looking edge if you don't want to see the the uh, chalkboard edge you could always paint that white or you know a coordinating color if you wanted to but i don't have a problem with it and that's all that matters right 
finding joy in what you do and making it the way that you like it. If I'm okay with it, that should be enough. Okay, so here we go. It is glued down, it is sanded, and if there are bubbles that remain, just keep working and pressing those down. I used Elmer's school stick, uh, glue stick, but you can use Dollar Tree or whatever kind you like. I'm going to make a top and bottom border and I'm going to use these little blocks to do that. You're going to need to lay these out first to see where they go and then start gluing those down because I didn't pay close enough attention when I did it and it has more overhang on one side than the other. I could peel it off and redo it but the point of the video is to give you inspiration so you do it the right way. Be sure that you do it the right way and whatever makes you happy. You could go down the sides too, but I didn't have enough the size of this. There wasn't, um, they would have left a gap. So just the top and bottom. You could also paint these blocks with chalk paint or acrylic paint. You could spray paint them. You could use some type of a stain on those if you wanted to, or you could just do like I did and just leave them the color that they are. See, it's a little longer on this side. I'm not sweating the small stuff. We don't sweat the small stuff around here, do we? No, we don't. But because it would drive me crazy if I had it even on the bottom and not on the top, I just went ahead and did the same thing on the bottom as I did the top. Use your finger protectors if you need to use them if you're a little sloppier with the glue. Be sure that you get your glue strings off because you're going to be using quite a bit of glue to put these down and they're going to be little spider webs everywhere most likely. I found some on mine even when the project was done. You'll see it on the end, but I did pick it off. After editing the video, I saw it and I got it. Okay. So there we go. There's our little border and it is fastly glued down. I have two different ribbons that I like. I can show you here that they both match the bag. So if you find this bag at Dollar Tree, you can find these ribbons. These are not in the spring section. They're just in the regular ribbon section. They're burlap and they are wired. I decided that the pink is the one that I wanted to use. We are going to make a little bow here. Simple little bow. Make a loop, then you're going to make the tail, I'm going to pinch the center of the tail and then I'm going to pinch the top of the bow straight down onto that. That's what it will look like get a piece of jute or whatever you have to tie with. Any little scrap you have laying around would be okay too. I think this matched okay. So there we go. Tie a knot or two in there so that it doesn't come apart when you try to fluff it. Fluff them out so you can get an idea how it's going to look cut off little dovetails in the ends or you can cut them at a slant whatever um, you prefer to do and you can make the tails longer if you would like you can keep them short like I have on mine okay and there we go very very simple bow cut your excess off and then we're going to decide where we want to put this pretty little pink bow. And I think the center will be good for this one. Now we need to think about how we're going to hang it. And I'm going to use this wired jute to make a hanger for the back. So I'm going to decide where the middle is. Kind of straighten it just a little bit. To turn it over making sure that you're on the the top not the bottom and this is how I make my little crafting band-aids if you want to call it that just cut some scraps put your glue down 
put the end of your jute wire in there. A little more glue, if you don't have enough. And then you're just gonna put your little piece of paper right over the top of that. And it will hold it down nicely, just like a Band-Aid. See there? Then do the same thing on the other side and you're good to go. Now we have our hanger. We're gonna place our perfect little simple bow here. I think the bow is appropriate because it doesn't take away from the gorgeous picture. So put that in the middle. And there you go. There is your Valentine or spring or wedding or little girl's room, whatever you want to call it, sign. I think it's very pretty and I, I like the pastels. And I love the blue background. Gold is not usually my thing, but I think it looks really nice with this. What do you think? Thanks for, so much for coming over here and watching my videos. I appreciate every one of you. Subscribe if you like budget-friendly videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.